Hi folks, this is Matt, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit now about uh, Bayesian equilibrium and um, an equilibrium concept, a solution concept for Bayesian games. And uh, the idea of, of this, it's also sometimes referred to as Bayesian Nash equilibria. Um, the concept goes back to uh, Harsanyi, John Harsanyi in the 19, late 1960s, 1967 and 1968, um, where he developed this concept. And uh, the idea is that, that each player now, you know, when we're talking about a Bayesian game, players have these types which determine their payoffs and relate to the uncertainty and can actually tell them something about what they expect other individuals' types to be. And uh, a, a, an equilibrium now is going to be a plan of action for each player as a function of their types. So um, it's going to, to say, okay, if I, if I observe a, a certain type, what am I going to do in the game? And it should be maximizing their expected utility. So it's going to be a best reply. Um, and uh, what are they expecting over? Well, now instead of just uh, in, in, in the Nash equilibrium, you fix the strategy of the other player and then you just maximize your, your payoff. Um, here we're expecting over the actions of other players. So here we've got a situation where we have to be uh, figuring out based on what we expect their types to be and possibly what they might be mixing, how are they playing based on those types, what does that lead to the expected action distribution you're going to face. And um, in terms of the types, the other player's types can actually also enter into your payoff function. So your utility can depend on information that other people hold. So it might be that somebody else knows about, say, the value of a stock, and I'm trying to invest based on what information I have, and I realize that, I, that other people are going to have other information, and that information could affect the value to me as well um, of, of, a, of a particular uh, asset, for instance. Okay. So um, given a Bayesian game, we've got our, our set of players, uh, players, actions, the type space, probability distribution over the type space, and uh, um, utility functions. And um, for the definitions we're going to provide here, we're going to take these to be finite sets of players, finite sets of actions, finite sets of types, and finite sets of strategies. Okay, and, and when you start going to infinite sets and continua, you have to be a little more careful about some of the details of defining these things, and in particular, um, measurability kinds of considerations of, uh, and, and integration of, of things. So we're going to stick with a finite set where the basic principles and ideas will be fairly um, easy to understand, and extensions to these are, are fairly straightforward, although there's some technical details you have to worry about. Okay, pure strategy. What's a strategy for a given player? A player's strategy now is a mapping. So S sub I, which says as a function of your type, what's the action you're gonna take? That would be a pure strategy in the sense that you're just picking an action for each type. Um, a mixed strategy is then the obvious uh, extension here where instead of uh, um, picking a pure action, you're picking a probability distribution over actions. Uh, as a function of your type. Um, and uh, one thing that's going to be uh, useful then is that if we have a, a particular type, we can then talk about what the distribution over uh, actions uh, is. So with the mix, under a mixed strategy S sub i, that person i plays, what's the probability that action ai is going to be chosen by them if they happen to be of type theta i. So we'll use that notation uh, in, in some of the calculations. Okay, now when we start talking about Bayesian equilibrium, now we have to talk about um, what a person's expected utility is when they're uh, making their choices. And there'll be different timing uh, that we can think of. So one is ex ante. Um, I'm, I, I have to form a plan for how I'm going to behave, but I actually don't know anything about anyone's type, including my own. So we might think of this as, for instance, uh, you know, a company forming a long-term uh, plan for how it might, um, say, bid in a series of auctions that are coming up, but it hasn't actually gone out and collected information yet, and it hasn't actually seen uh, the, the values of, of, of other players or, or, and so forth, so it hasn't done any of the calculations, but it's trying to form a, a, a strategy of how it's going to behave. Um, second possibility, interim stage. So in, uh, a person knows something about uh, her, his or her own type, but not the types of other agents yet, or the other players. So this is a, a setting where you have seen some parts. I've done my homework. I know what I've seen. 
and I have to form a strategy to bid in an auction, but I don't know what the other players have seen. And that information could be valuable not only in determining what their action is, but also in determining whether or not uh, I want to go ahead and um, uh, follow uh, a certain behavior or not based on what my payoffs might be contingent on what information they might have. And the third one is ex post. So everybody knows everything about uh, everybody's types. Now, ex post um, is, is the relatively least interesting uh, in, in, uh, in the basic sense of, of the kinds of calculations we're going to be doing. Because in that situation, if the peoples are making their choices ex post, then the game is going to boil down to just the complete information games we had before. Now, if people have to make their choices ex ante and they still want them to work ex post, then that's a different story that, that um, we'll talk about a little later. Okay, interim expected utility. So uh, let's talk about the expected utility that a player has if they're at the interim stage. Well, we can say, uh, what does person I expect if they're of type theta I and the strategies S are being followed? And we end up with a calculation which looks as follows. Um, first of all, we can look at uh, what the possible types are. So we're gonna be summing the person knows their type then that can tell them something about what they believe the probability of other people's types will be. Um, we're going to sum across those things. And the utilities are going to be uh, evaluated with respect to those uh, types. So that's one aspect of it. Um, the second aspect is that uh, they also have to do the calculation of what they then believe other players will be doing, or, uh, or in including themselves if they're mixing, um, in terms of which actions will be chosen as a function of the types. So they have a probability distribution over types, then what are the strategies that are going to be played, with what probability are we going to see different actions, and then what's the utility of those actions. So we've got the payoff as a function of actions, we've got probabilities of actions, and we've got probabilities of types. Okay, And so that gives us an expected utility calculation which then a player can use to evaluate what do they think uh, a given strategy is going to lead to in terms of payoffs. That's the interim expected utility. If we, if we move things back and then have to operate at an ex-ante stage, then uh, we can very simply say, what does I think the probability is that they'll be of different types, and what do they think their expected utility be as a function of those types? That gives you uh, an overall expected utility. Okay, so we've got an ex-ante expected utility, which isn't going to condition on types, and then an interim one, which conditions on types. Okay, and the ex-post one, they know exactly what the types are, so they can just evaluate things directly as, as we did before. Okay, so the idea behind Bayes-Nash uh, equilibrium, or Bayesian equilibrium, um, the concept uh, fr from John Harsanyi's work, um, is that uh, we're looking for a mixed strategy profile. Um, you can also you know, define pure strategy equilibria just by restricting to this to be pure strategies as opposed to mixed. But what has to be true is that each individual should be choosing a best response. So their strategy S sub I, which is now a mapping from types into actions, should be maximizing their expected utility um, here taken at the interim stage, so conditional on a theta i that they might see, and it should be true for every i and every possible type. So no matter what type I am, I am, the strategy I've chosen should be maximizing my expected utility um, given what I think other people are going to do and given the expected utility that I'm calculating based on those strategies. Okay, So this is exactly analogous to Nash equilibrium. It's just uh, taking explicit uh, account of the fact that individuals have will see different things at, at different points in the uh, well, uh, at, at the interim stage and should be maximizing with respect to that information. Okay, um, the above definition, this definition we just went through, is based on an interim approach. So it's asking that every individual uh, maximize with respect to the information that they have at the interim stage and no matter what that information turns out to be. And if, uh, if it happens to be true that every type occurs with positive probability, then this is also equivalent to just looking at the ex-ante stage 
and saying, look, my strategy should maximize my overall ex ante uh, expected utility because if it's if it's maximizing things for every possible theta, then it's also going to maximize things um, when I average across those thetas. And likewise, if it didn't maximize with respect to some theta and all the thetas are receiving positive probability, then it couldn't be maximizing overall. So you can write this Bayesian equilibrium down either from an ex ante perspective or from an interim perspective as long as all types have positive probability. Okay. Um, so what have we got from Bayesian Nash equilibria? Um, we've got a, an extension of, of Nash equilibrium to a setting to the Bayesian game setting. It explicitly models behaviors in settings where we've got this uncertainty, um, but the concept is, is simple. Players choose strategies to maximize their payoffs in response to others, accounting for the, these two aspects of uncertainty. One is strategic uncertainty. What do I think other players are going to be doing as a function of types and uncertainty? And secondly, payoff uncertainty. I've got to be expecting over types, which might enter my payoffs. So um, it's uh, capturing both of those elements.